Oh, I look like a mess. Can someone get me a new shirt, please? That would be... We're live already. Hello and welcome to Manchester News. My name is Graham and today we have a few stories for you. First off, brand new signing for Manchester United, bringing back Memphis Depay. They actually signed him by paying his buyback clause and now he is a Manchester United player. We will wait to see what he does at Manchester United and if he fills that striking role or if they play him on the wing. Also in the news, we also have a new transfer at Manchester United and that is a seed a young CDM from Norway and from Jenkin, Belgium. His name is Sander Perge. The tall man was seen walking around Carrington uh, training ground and now is a Manchester United player. Also in the news, we also have one more story and that is the last and best story because transfer deadline day has finished and a lot of money was spent across all leagues. A lot of money was spent across all leagues. However, Sonny will have to tell you about all of the transfers that have happened and maybe even the top transfers but for now it has been Manchester News my name is Graham and I'll see you all later bye bye yes yes it is I it is I Manchester United manager yes 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 whilst you're around here whilst you're all over the place Smash out the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let me know your press conference questions in the comments down below as well. Yes. Yes. Manchester United. Yes, mate. Yes, what's going on? It is your boy Sonny, your Manchester United manager. Hopefully you've got some very good questions for me today. Before I take questions though, just to sort out what everybody's probably going to mention. Alright? It's AJ's birthday today can i get happy birthday aj in the comment section down below please that would be great all right we're taking our first question all the way to my left hand side go ahead mate jonathan from pornhub after signing a new striker praising alexis and then starting lukaku all strikers are still not scored for in competitive football for manchester united how would you manage this well to be honest with you the only way we can manage this is to give lukaku some game time you know we're gonna have to give lukaku some game time if he doesn't hit the ground running obviously we've got those strikers like Memphis brought in Alexis Sanchez have been playing there as well but all of these players like you've been saying before I saw it in the press uh, hasn't been firing hasn't been scoring goals but I will try to get them doing that ASAP next question go ahead Sil and Mark from Esports News how do you plan on preventing more draws seeing as you have already drawn two games already this season out of six games how many draws have we we drew two games out of six games you know what that means four W's four wins Two draws out of six games, we're unbeaten. And you're moaning. All right, Jose Mourinho, look at what he done at the club. I've come into the club, two draws and the rest are wins. You best believe we're going to keep that going. That's all you need to know about that situation. Last question right at the back, because that's really ticked me off, mate. Last question, go ahead. Kyle from TN Daily. After triggering the buyback clause for Memphis Depay, what are your plans and where will he play in the Manchester United team? Anywhere. Like, it's as simple as that. Anywhere. He can play on the wing. He can play in strike he can play in the cam roll he can play wherever we need him to play and that is what i needed i needed a player with a bit of variety to his position hopefully he does that at the club but for now hopefully you guys have enjoyed the press conference but i'll see you in the training ground i'll see you all later see you later peace Yo, what's going on? Welcome back to Bros Got Game. This is Sunny, and we are back with another video of that Manchester United career mode. Now, I know you guys are loving this career mode, and if you guys can smash out the like button down below, even though this has taken like three or four days before re being released as well, please go ahead and do that. Subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. That would also be appreciated. And you can probably tell I have moved my first team around quite a bit, all right? And the reason behind that, and the re reason there's a lot of stamina issues to the club as well, is because I have played a couple of games and the recording actually did corrupt. If you follow me on Twitter, at Bros Up Game, I did tweet out about it and said it might be a day later than what I wanted to do. But we played against BSC Young Boys and we played against Wolverhampton. So two games, not very big games, in the um in the of the season either so luckily we didn't play that arsenal game in that recording i was going to literally record the arsenal game went back to check the recording and i realized that the elgato footage was corrupt so luckily that wasn't a part of it but what i can say is in the bsc young boys uh, game and in the wolverhampton game memphis Depay has become now an integral part of our squad also i did play a lot of youngsters in that bsc young uh, boys game if you guys wanted to see more youngsters in the games that 
is the game that literally I played those youngsters in. And unfortunately, you guys got, don't get to see that because of the um, corruptness. But as you can see, three goals, one assist already for Memphis Depay. I think he got two in the... BSC Young Boys game and then he got one in the Wolverhampton game from what I remember also got an assist as well Gareth Bale still firing in all fronts He's got five goals out of five games and four assists for us as well all in the Premier League by the way He may start starting Champions League football, but I wanted to try out the players in that BSC Young Boys uh, Adama Traore scored those two goals for Wolverhampton as well I just wanted to let you guys know that because that was crazy and I was actually speaking about do you guys want me to try and sign that guy Because he scored against us twice and could be a really good signing as backup to Gareth Bale on that right hand side because we still need a backup right winger who will be that guy. Now into this Arsenal Carabao Cup game. I know a lot of people tend to simulate the Carabao Cups uh, games but because it's now a feature in FIFA 19 and obviously they've brought in the licensing we're gonna play this Carabao Cup game. Here we go then Alexis Sanchez is not playing this game however Mkhitaryan against his former club. We're at their home stadium in our away kit as well. Can Chris Smalling put in a performance? He is the guy captaining our team in this very game. Hopefully he can. We've got David De Gea in goal as well, as you can see from the player faces right there. We've got a few players that probably should have been playing this kind of caliber of a game, but hopefully it works out for us. As you can see, Memphis Depay, the man to watch right now with three goals in his last three matches and two goals in the previous match as well from Danny Well from Arsenal, the former Man United player as well. The Carabao Cup tag on the armband, as you can see right there. Lovely little bit of licensing to add to the game. Selfies being taken around the stadium. Arsenal go with Leno in goal. Not exactly as good as a shot stopper as Petr Cech, as, as I've said previously, but with the ball at his feet, really good player. Bellerin, Kashalni, Socrates, and I didn't see who that left back was. Kolasinac play at the back. they got Lucas Torreira and El Neni in the middle. Wabak on the left, Erzil in the middle, Mkhitaryan on the right, and Aubameyang up top, Lacazette does not start this game. We go David De Gea in goal. We go Dalo play right back just to give Valencia a break because of the stamina. Eric Bai, Chris Smalling and Ashley Young also at the back. Smalling and Young coming in for Harry Maguire and Luke Shaw because of stamina issues as well. Also Fred comes in for, I think it was Dabala because of stamina as well. And Memphis Depay starts up top. Hopefully we can do this and get the W, yo. That's what we go for, let's get it. I can't get the ball off them right now. They're playing such good football. Mikatari with a shot as well. Headed clear by Ashley Young, I think it was. No, it's Paul Pogba. And away by Fredinho. And only as far as an Arsenal man. They're just putting on the pressure right now. I can't deal with it. Mickey's got support on that right. Yeah, he picks him out. Bellerin and he's taking it past me with a beautiful touch. And here goes Mickey now to the far post. It's Danny Wellbeast to cross goal. And cleared by Manchester United. This is too much pressure for me to handle right now. Run for me, Paul Pogba. There you go. Through the middle, I see him. I see Fred as well. Fred will get the ball from Pogba. Played it to Memphis to Pai, backed up to Pogba, now into Martial, back into Memphis. This is a beautiful book football from Manchester United. Here goes Martial, cuts his side, Anthony, whipped in, head of that. Fred can't get there, out, only as far as Nemanja Matic. Oh, I thought he was going in. Arsenal goal kick. Looped forward, Paul Pogba should be getting there, let's be honest, against Lucas Torreira, who has lost the ball, and Gareth Bale picks up the loose one, into Memphis, Memphis to Pai, good save from Leno, proving me wrong when I said he wasn't a shot stopper, because he should have stopped that shot, it's as simple as that, here comes the corner though, Paul Pogba whips it in and headed in, at the near post and off the line by the Arsenal man, Eric Bayer was going to long shot it, then realised it was Eric Bayer, Fred though, off the bar, headed in, and save by Leno, Drama at the Emirates as Manchester United hit the bar and then Leno makes an exquisite save. Crossed in by Paul Pogba from the corner. Away again by the Arsenal players. Only as far as Ashley Young who can cross it from this left hand side. On his right foot though. Whipped into... Whip oh! The overhead kick from Martial. Imagine. Here's Martial. Looks forward and finds Fred running through the middle. Here's Memphis. Oh, back into Anthony. Here he goes. It's Anthony. What a save from Leno. Keeping us out of that net. Paul Popper picks up the loose ball. Whips it back in. Gareth Bale's there. Fred was there. But so was Lucas Herrera who clears the ball. And now Arsenal will try to break on us. Eric Boy for Manchester United. Squares that one across into Chris Smalling. Played forward into Anthony Martial. He's lost the ball again for Manchester United, man. It's just not working for Martial recently. Here goes Danny Welbeck, the former Man United man. They've got a chance, big save, David De Gea. He's kept us in this game, you know. If that one went in, it might have been looking at 1-0 and maybe losing this game. Martial into the centre. Gareth Bale looks forward and finds Paul Pogba. 
Pogba out to that right hand side, Lukaku. Lukaku whips it in. Rashford attacks it, and it's the Mancunian youngster in the 90th minute who's put it into the back of the net. Who thought, saw that one coming? The youngster scored yet again for Manchester United under my man as well. And in the 90th minute in the Carabao Cup against Arsenal, and you're not stopping that one, Leno. You're not stopping that one. And for the person that says, stop saying it and I say it too much, he plays for the badge. Come on, son. That's what I'm talking about, Marcus Rashford. Gets in front of his defender. Boom. Let's have it. And the whistle's probably going to be blown as soon as they kick off. There it is. 1-0 Manchester United at the Emirates Stadium. It looked for a second like I could have lost the game. They had so many chances in our goal. So did we, though, literally just before half-time. But it is all about the result, and we pick up that 1-0 victory, and we progress in the Carabao Cup as well. I know a lot of people's wondering who was the top transfer of the last transfer window. Was it Dybala for £100 million? I can reveal that it was not Dybala. It was, in fact... Mauro Icardi moving to Real Madrid for £102 million. In fact, there was two transfers in the top three that wasn't involved in Manchester United because Immobile also moved to Chelsea for £71.7 million as well. And then just below that, we have the Gareth Bale deal. Just below that, Manalas also moved to PSG for £62.5 million, £2.2 million. Alaba moved to Manchester City as well. Interesting deal. You know about the Sergio Roberto deal. You know about the Memphis Depay deal. And Ila Ramendi for £43.4 million to Juventus. Not sure where they're going with that one, but they've signed the 28-year-old as well. Dzeko went to Atletico Madrid. I think then Roma actually signed Bas Dost, I believe. I'm not sure on that, but I'm pretty sure they signed Bas Dost. Kim Puembe went to Atletico Madrid as well. You can see a rebuild's going on there. Literally so many good transfers. But the only ones that really matter are these ones right here. The ones involving Manchester United. I'm going to go through every single transfer we've done in the window. And that was Sal Marcus Rowe and then sign Harry Maguire for two million pounds more literally two days after we made that deal possible we then sold Marouane Fellaini for 15.8 million pounds we do sign his replacement further down in the transfer window but before that we saw, signed Gareth Bale and on that same day probably even in the same minute signed Dybala for a record transfer fee of 100 million pounds combining that fee to 168 for the two players and then we signed Memphis Depay signing him for his release clause and then signed the Marouane Fellaini replacement for £6 million or £5 million less than what we sold him for in Sander Berge as well. We've had a good window. Manchester United, West Ham United, you could call it the United Derby at their home stadium. The London Stadium is where we're going to be playing this game. They did actually beat us in real life three goals to one. Can we turn that around and try and beat them by two goals or maybe even more than two goals? We're going to have to wait and see. At the moment though, we are the top scoring team in the league with 14 goals. Hopefully, we can keep that going in this game. As you can see from the lineup here, we got Fabianski in goal for West Ham United, Fredericks Balbu Balbuena, I think that is how you say it, uh, Ogbonna and Kaldrim, I think is how you say it as well. They've made a few signings there. Felipe Anderson starts in on that left hand side, Yarmolenko on the right, Arnautovic up top as well. They've got a lot of height in that team. Can it stop Manchester United on this unbeaten run, though? I don't think so. Hopefully, it doesn't. We're shaking hands with the rest now and you can see the lineup right there boys let's get into that Manchester United lineup David De Gea starts in goal in that BSC Young boys I think it was that game I did actually start Romero to give him a chance as well you guys are going to see the rotation of the squad uh, uh, quite a bit and also a comment came in from one of you guys you can see the squad right there a comment came in from one of you guys asking to rotate the goalkeeper every time we can see the goal again like we did in FIFA 18 even uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do then if you guys want to see me rotating the goalkeeper that's what we're going to do so every time we can see the goal the goalkeeper steps out and we put the next goalkeeper in if that goal goalkeeper uh, concedes a goal we'll put the next goalkeeper in and we just keep going like that so we can't concede goals if we want to play that same goalkeeper Pogba plays it forward into Jesse Lingard here's Darbala Darbala tries to, what is that Darbala? I actually meant to play it back to Lingard. That was the worst pass I've ever played that. If I didn't get that right with Valencia, he would have been through Felipe Anderson. Here we go through now with Gareth Bale though. Gareth Bale still gets towards that byline. Gareth Bale tries to loop it back in. Good defender by West Ham United, but they have given away a cheap corner, you could say. Romelu Lukaku has started in there. Will he get his head on it? He won't, but a Man United player does. And it's straight at Fabianski. Here's Gareth Bale again. 
Into Lingard. Lingard looks forward. Romelu Lukaku nearly dinks it into the far corner. Lukaku just misses it. Felipe Anderson whips it towards the middle. Goes to absolutely nobody. I've given them the ball back though. Mark Noble puts it over the bar. That was a chance, man. And I nearly gifted them a goal. Throw in Manchester United. Come on, boys. Luke Shaw takes it. Into Memphis Depay. Puts it in towards Romelu Lukaku. Who backs it up. And it somehow found its way back to Romelu. Luckily, Lingard, Romelu Lukaku! What a goal that would have been. Fabianski has maybe saved West Ham United a bit of face here. Here comes the corner from Man United. Paul Pogba whips it in. Headed? No. Away, even, from Manchester United. I think that came off my man. Here we go. Three minutes to go. And Manchester United have a free kick. Eric Boy. Andreas Pereira. Out towards that left-hand side. I see Luke Shaw, who picks up the loose ball. Luke Shaw into the centre to Memphis Depay. In off the bench, Lukaku. Plays that one out wide to Gareth Bale. Round his man, still Gareth Bale. He's going around everyone. He's tried to dink it in and it's saved by the goalkeeper. Nearly went in at the near post. Corner at Manchester United as well. Come on, boys. I need this corner into the back of the net, please. Can I get Andreas Pereira on it? That would be great. Andreas Pereira to take this corner. Whipped in towards the middle. Headed in! And it's in the back of the net! And again, a 90th minute finish for Manchester United. It's Eric Bay this time. Oh my god! How have we done that? Not once, but twice in two games in a row against Arsenal and now West Ham United as well. When both teams actually, to be honest with you, have actually dominated the game. But we've scored again from a header, this time from a corner, with only a couple of minutes to go. And it's that man right there, Eric Bay. That is why he's my first team starter. I don't care what Jose says. He is my first team centre back. He is the guy who is on the team sheet every single second of my mind on that team sheet. And he gets himself a goal. And he picks up the victory as well for Manchester United. Come on. Phil Jones coming in with a message saying his role at the club isn't exactly what he thought it was going to be when signing his contract to be honest with you i'm not sure when i want to play phil jones we have got a cup game a champions league game coming up against valencia which he could be rotated into but then we've got linda off there we've got chris smalling there we've also got other center backs who could play from our youth as well i just don't feel like he's gonna play on oh, a training injury to alexis as well he's out for two weeks arguably one of our best strikers before memphis the pie came in but he's out for two weeks, Alexis. Monthly scout report for our youth squad as well. We can see we've got some decent players in there. A 51 rated right there, 71. You know what? I might have to check these potentials out. A lot of them actually still looking really good. In fact, you know what? I'm going to keep every single one of you. You're doing really well. Here we go. Manchester United, Valencia CF, Champions League football. A lot of you guys have been waiting for this Champions League football. We have obviously played the game against BSC Young Boys, but you guys didn't get to see it because of the corrupt footage. But now, Champions League football is coming back to Manchester United. You can see in Group H, we have the three points at the moment. Juventus also have three points. After beating this team right here, Valencia CF, can we pick up the victory? That is the question. You can see the Champions League aura around the stadium as the music starts. And we are ready for some Champions League football as well. Some youngsters are in the squad. We'll go through that lineup now. Here is the Manchester United lineup that I'm going with Lee Grant in goal. I know a lot of people are like, what? You've got with Lee Grant in goal? Sergio Romero's there. We also David the hand in it. Can see the goal. Don't worry. I'm just rotating the squad. We've also got with Bowie up top. There's a method behind the madness. Chong starts, Herrera starts, and the burst starts. We've got Dalo and Damian starting in the fullback positions. I'm literally giving chances to the squad and that is what i'm trying to do at manchester united and that is give chances to a lot of young players and bring them through the ranks as well and then once they're there and ready for some first team football in champions league games they can get it and they've been training well you know so why not give them that first team football and maybe even give them a chance to make themselves uh, a, a contender for the starting 11 as well. They've got a good team, Valencia. They've got Rodrigo starting up top alongside Gamero. They've also got Gonzalo Gades playing on that left-hand side. They also brought Ben Chilwell, who is on the bench as well for them. Pereo in the middle, Pereo, yeah, in the middle, who can literally pick out those passes as well. He can pick out pockets of space. He's a good player. Hopefully, we can win. Corner Valencia. Whipped into the near post. Should be dealt with. Is dealt with by Lee Grant, though. The last man 
between us and the goal, and that is Lee Grant, the goalkeeper. It's a good header from them, good near post OP chance as well from them. Even the AI knows to go there. Here they go again, Gades blocked well by Smalling. And then the chance again to Heath Chung trying to get in the way of Goncalo. He's been literally sent to Tesco there. Gades again and Lee Grant pulling off a world-class save once again in the Manchester United kit. He's done it so many times against Derby before we lost. But in this game, I didn't think it'd be that great. But he's pulled off a couple of world-class saves already. Punches that one clear as well. He's better than Romero. Do you guys remember Romero in pre-season against Toronto? I will not be playing him ever again, I'm telling you, boys. It's got to be Lee Grant as backup right now. Unless we sign a new backup goalkeeper. Oh, my God. Nearly gifted him a goal. Who's there to stop that? Lee Grant, boys. Who's there again? Lee Grant. Here's a good Charlo Gades. He's played that to the left-hand side. Picked up well by Manchester United. I will keep the ball there as well. Herrera plays it forward into Paul Pogba. Now into the youngster, Bohui. Bohui plays it into Pogba. Pogba's got support on that right-hand side from another youngster. And it's to Heath Chung. Plays it into the middle. Pogba, man. How are all these youngsters getting touches on the ball and nobody's getting a bad touch? But then I'll give it to Pogba and he touches it like he's got a banana for a foot, boys. Like, what's going on there? Memphis cuts his side, can play the ball into the middle to Bahui. Bahui tries to look to Pogba. It's just that experience to play a little bit more of a heavy pass. Would have sent us through there to Heath Chong. Looks towards the left-hand side. Here's Bahui again. Bahui this time gets the pass right into Pogba. And here goes Memphis. And Memphis the pie puts it far corner. He just can't find the target. We're offside anyway. Take that ball off from boys. Go on, Sander Berge with a heavy tackle, but a good tackle. Plays it out to Mata in off the bench. Into the youngster Bahui. who can't have a good touch right there, but he has got the ball back, to be fair to him. Memphis the pie. Bahui. Sander Berge. Lays it off to Mata. Good save from the goalkeeper, keeping us out. But Juan Mata nearly having us chant around the stadium. There is only Juan Mata. They're making a few substitutes as well, but who cares? Here comes a corner for Manchester United. Towards that penalty area. Headed away by Valencia. Only as far as a Man United man. Back to that left-hand side again. Whipped in by Pogba. But we try to attack it. Just not tall enough or quick enough to get there as well. Lee Grant just play it to that left-hand side, man. See if we've got the pace to try and catch that ball. Unfortunately, he stops it from even going down to a foot race. Here goes Santamina. Santamina is put it in. And it's Valencia with the goal. That starts off the goal scoring record in this game. Santamina off the bench. Not exactly what I thought would have been the start to this game or the end to this game. I thought we may have done it again. Another huge comeback or a huge goal at the end of the game. But this time, it's gone in the other direction and Valencia will score to make it 1-0 Valencia. It could be our first loss of the series. Andres Pereira to Memphis Depay. Back into Andres Pereira. Looks towards the far side to Heath Chung attacking it. Going out for a throw for Manchester United. I need everybody forward now. Come on, boys. Mata plays it back into Bale. In off the bench. Here's Sander Burge. Plays it into Andreas Pereira. Where's my left back? Someone get forward on that left hand side. What the hell? Andreas into the middle. Shot. Corner. Everyone get up there. Even the goalkeeper. Get up there, son. Come on, boys. Whipped in by Man United. Headed in and wide by Sander Burge, I think it was. Have we got one more chance in us as Memphis Depay runs forward? Bale will pick that one up as well. Sander Burge waiting for it. Jones. Here we go down the right hand side. Sander Burge. Whips it in, headed in, and we've scored! We're not getting beaten! We're still going unbeaten! It's Memphis the fight! God damn it, Memphis! That is what I'm talking about! Finally! Right at the end of the game again! Literally, we are into stoppage time and then past the two minutes of stoppage time as well. Out to Sander Berge, who you'd expect in the middle, has crossed the ball in. And Memphis Depay, who you'd expect crosses the ball in, has headed it into the back of the net. Oh my god, man, what a goal, son. Glanced it in well. 1 1. Kick off for Valencia. It's going to come to full time as soon as they're taking as well. And there it is, the full time whistle. And we can't expect to be pushy about the scoreline. We put out a team of youngsters and they've picked up a draw. We had to bring in players like Andres Pereira, Gareth Bale, etc. But it has worked out in our favour. We've got a 1 1 draw where we probably could have lost. So, yeah, I'll take that. Second in the Champions League group stage right now. And it is evident that players like Bakui 
are not ready for Champions League football or Manchester United starting 11 football at the moment. Maybe I'll give him a chance further down the line, but for now, he doesn't look like the player that's going to come into the squad and change the game for us, you know what I mean? Man United, though, in the Premier League, top of the table. I will show you guys the league every five games, but for now, I wanted to show you guys that we are top of the table and we are beating play, uh, other teams on points as well. We're not up there with another team that is joint with us. Nope. Two points above Liverpool, Manchester City and Everton. Also, one point behind them, we've got Chelsea as well. And then we've got Arsenal, Burnley, Spurs, etc. But mainly, Man United are top of the league. If you guys want to see more of this series, you know what to do. Go ahead and smash out the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. That would be great. Also, follow me on Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter. All those links are in the description down below. And follow me on twitch.tv forward slash bros got game if you guys want to watch me stream as well. But for now, it has been me. You guys have been great. And we just about drew with Valencia. Catch you in the next one. Peace.